Hey boys, welcome back to some more Kalen Ponga Korea World Cup edition. And after a fairly scrappy come from behind win against Samoa, we're taking on uh, Scotland. Who, uh, I mean, this should be this should be a fairly walkover affair. But I mean, they they have some they're gonna have some decent players. They have some excuse me, they have some NRL standard players. So it's gonna be. A contest but hopefully we can get a little get a little confidence out of this one as you see you know Lynette Aitken Coot Danny Bro from the Super League there Douglas Wallace Galloway the old timers there gee whiz all the <laughs> collective age on those three be quite high and then yeah a lot of other sort of probably Super League players but yeah we, it's a game that we should fairly comfortably win um we do have a strong team. It's not a bad team at all. Usually, you know, the game, like I've said before, it does pick some strange ones. But uh, I think it's it's pretty good apart from the back line's a bit weird. Obviously, Bryce and Goodwin being there. Um, I don't know who else. I mean, obviously, because we're at fullback, there's no two of us to check, which is, you know, a little strange. But, um, you know, they got to fit us in somewhere. So, Yeah. Hopefully we can... I mean, we played pretty well that uh, that first game. Couple of tries right here. Already a line break. And I tried... <laughs> Honestly, I probably could have scored. I, I don't think Lachlan Koo was going to catch us. I tried to be a little fancy and I was trying to sort of swerve in and then, you know, sort of hold him up and then go to the outside. But I just sort of... He just tackled me. <laughs> it was it was poor stuff. But uh, on the back of it, big Greg Eastwood is going to go straight through the middle and already some danger signs for Scotland. It's, uh, yeah, not looking too good up the middle of the ruck there, which, you know, they've they got some decent forwards, so it's a little bit uh, not great from uh, from some of their senior forwards, but 6-0 early on. And uh, unfortunately, though, an error has given uh, Scotland a good chance to, uh, to go on the attack and Big Keith Galloway is going to score. It sort of caught us off guard because it uh, looked like it was going to be a knock-on. And then one-on-one -on -one just barnstorms out of the way of... I don't know who it was, but he sort of got embarrassed right there. Just absolutely destroyed by Big Keith. And Scotland going to hit back. So six all. Ten minutes into the game already, two tries. So a bit of, a, bit of an open affair here. Hopefully we can sort of, you know... Not give away so many errors is right here. Yeah. I, I I didn't mean to call for a kick. I think I might have just accidentally pressed X. Uh, but it is, it is going to be a knock on no advantage. Thankfully, they, the game does get that sort of stuff right. It doesn't uh, play like advantage too quickly. Is right here. We turned him inside out. I probably shouldn't have passed, but I was trying to be unselfish and and get a try assist. Uh, not to be, but we still we're still going to go on the attack. And what a beautiful try that is, Dallin at Watani Zalesniak. Look at this. This is actually beautiful. <laughs> I, I sort of ran like a decoy on the inside, and then Zalesniak came from like behind to the outside, and a little flick, a little not flick, but a little pop pass, and that was that was beautiful. Uh, watching it sort of like a lot, like on the the first viewing from that behind the you know, the standard camera angle. It actually looked pretty slick, so that was that was a nice try. Unfortunately, Goodwin couldn't convert, and again, again, after we score points, we've given the, the Scottish team a chance to attack. This time, some more sturdy defense around the ruck there. It's going to be last play, spreading it back to uh, to Massey, the lock to put in a kick. Not a great, well, actually, not a bad kick, actually. It was sort of ricocheting around there, but thankfully not played out, apparently. And it is going to be uh, our possession as we spread it out to the left. It's going to be on to Kieran Foran, back to us. And uh, it should be shut the gate here. Lachlan Coote is not going to catch us. And the number 12 definitely is not going to round us up. Um, actually, I don't think it was Coote that uh, initially dove at us. But uh, yeah, it was, it was sort of... Nothing was really on. I mean, we just got our dummy half. A uh, nice ball onto Kieran Foran. Beat the first line of defense into the backfield and... As any good fullback should be, uh, I was in there in support. Scored a very, very simple and a fairly soft try, but you know we'll take that. 16 to six now, getting uh, getting a decent score here. It's still only 20 odd minutes in. 
<laughs> and uh, quite a score already. It could uh, could be anything. As uh, another another bit of play here. Jordan Rapana gets it back to us. He was going to get run down. I thought we were going to make. Uh, I thought we were going to tiptoe down the sideline, but I tried the offload. Not a great offload and uh, give possession back to the Scottish team. So approaching half time here. Still that 16 to 6 score line. Might get one last play in, and we are going to as Eastwood just uh, runs it up. A uh, call for the pass here, just trying to do something. Put in a little kick for uh, Zelezniak, but it's going to be taken by Coot. So we have a 10 point buffer going into the break. Hopefully, we can sort of storm home in this game, put a few points on, and uh, have a bit of fun out here as uh, kick goes down here onto. Uh, Onto Zlesniak, who beats the first line of defense. I try to call for the pass. Righty, this is frustrating because, uh, you know, Coot was on the man, and then he I called for it because Coot, I thought, was going to round him up. But how quickly Coot was able to sort of pivot off that man and go on to the other one is right here. Oh, this is right. <laughs> what a try. Well, <laughs> okay. It was beautiful. This was actually... What a kick. Um, so... <laughs> So, okay, I was actually wondering, I was looking at the video length, and I'm like, how is the video length so short when we've scored so many points, but you'll see what happens, so, it's a try, obviously from that replay, what they were looking at, it's not a try, because he was out of the field of play when he put it down, um, as you see some Scottish players standing in just no man's land, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see what happens in a bit here, but I looked at the replay because I was pretty sure he scored on the first put down. It was a beautiful play. Look at this. This is, man, we played some good footy in this game, honestly. It's so disappointing what happens next, but so we kick it. Beautiful kick. Absolutely pinpoint accurate. And uh, Bryson Goodwin, he puts it down right here, plants it down. That's a try. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he, he touches it. That's, uh, that's a definite try. And then the game didn't sort of get it, I guess. And then, unfortunately, this is what happens, which I thought, okay, it's a little bit of a glitch. That's fine. But uh, it's sort of worse than that, uh, <laughs> as you see. So, yeah, this, <clears throat> you could still, we were still playing. Um, it's very hard. I don't know what on earth was that. Like, you see, I got the ball here. I was like, what on earth is happening? And so this went on for quite a while. Um, it just kept doing that. And players were just coming everywhere. So we skip forward here. It's now 70 odd minutes in. And Ewan Aiken is going to score. <laughs> just and The ball just kept going back and forth. Because, yeah, it's hard to explain. I, I don't know what was happening. But I thought after he scored, I was like, you know what? Finally, I was trying to score my try for myself, but I just couldn't do it because I thought once we scored, uh, the glitch would probably like sort itself out. Like I was, I was trying to make interchanges. I was doing this and that, but um, it wouldn't work. Nothing would work, and unfortunately, he scored the try, and it's still, it still is doing this silly glitch, which it was so frustrating because we were playing so good, and I, I we were gonna probably put on a pretty big score here. Um, uh, yeah. But uh, not to be. So about 20 minutes of game time has been wasted uh, from this. Uh, thankfully right here. So you'll see I actually give away a penalty for offside. And this actually fixes it. Um, from this camera angle it doesn't look like it. But he kicks it out here. And finally the game will resume. Uh, yeah. What a, what a weird glitch. Uh, just very strange. I don't know why the try wasn't, I guess because the try wasn't awarded and they sort of, I, I don't know, just it sort of screwed it up. But yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, it was such a good game. We, we a beautiful try assist. And just in general, we, we played good footy. So that's unfortunately the end of the game. 20 to 12, a scoreline that definitely flattered Scotland. Uh, it could have been a big scoreline in our favor, not to be. But uh, still, I mean, we, we still played we still played good, um, no taking away from that. So, 20 to 12, we're gonna go 2 and 0 in the World Cup so far. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.